Hey guys, so we are going to do a little math review with our coins. We have already talked about this coin, which was called the penny. You're exactly right. And we know that on the front of the penny, we find what president? Abraham Lincoln, you're right. And he is our 16th president, right? And then if I turn the page to here, we see the back of the penny. And do you remember what building this is right here? That's right, it's the Lincoln Memorial. And it goes with Abraham Lincoln because it's the Lincoln Memorial. And then we have talked about this other coin. And this other coin was called the nickel and on the front of our nickel is Thomas Jefferson exactly right and he was the third president great job and when we look at the back of a nickel we see this building and this building has a dome on top. And this building is Monticello, which is Thomas Jefferson's home. So on the penny, on the penny, we have the Lincoln Memorial. And on the nickel, we have Monticello. Remember when we were in class and we talked about how you can tell the difference between them, the buildings, because Monticello has a dome and the Lincoln Memorial is flat. When we count nickels, we count by fives. And when we count pennies, we count by Great job. So let's do some practice with nickels and pennies. Here are some coins. Do you remember what coin this is? That's right. It's a penny. And when we count pennies, we count by ones. Great job. Let's count these pennies together. Follow the red arrow. One, two, three. We have three cents. Let's write three in the white box. Here are some more pennies. Let's count these pennies by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight cents. Let's write an eight in the white box. Count these pennies on your own. How many cents do you have? Six. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have six cents. You are correct. Let's write the six in the white box. Here are some different coins. Do you remember the name of this coin? That's right. It's a nickel. And when we count nickels, we count by fives. Great job. Let's count together. Five, ten, fifteen, 20. We have 20 cents. Let's write a 20 in the white box. Here are some more nickels. Let's count them together. Remember, we count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
35, 40, 45. We have 45 cents. Let's write the number 45 in the white box. Count these nickels on your own. How many cents do you have? 55? Let's double check. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. We have 55 cents. You were right. Let's write a 55 in the white box. Great job. Here's some independent practice. Have a parent help you find some pennies and nickels. Make two groups, one of all pennies and one of all nickels. Count the coins and write the number on a sheet of paper. You guys did a great job. That's all for our lesson review on nickels and pennies. I'll see you next time.